In this video, let's talk about how to make it so your MacBook doesn't sleep. And there are actually three things or three ways how you can modify and change this behavior of your Mac. At first, to make things clear, this is an M1 MacBook Air and it runs the latest version of macOS, which is Monterey at the point of shooting this video. Anyways, you open up the system preferences, which is the settings for your Mac, and there you can click on desktop and a screensaver. And you again tap on screensaver and you can choose uh, after how many minutes the screensaver is going to pop up. So you can even disable it or enable it altogether. So as you can see, you can turn it on or turn it back off. In my case, it is 20 minutes, but you get other options as well. And for some reason, when I set it to 20 minutes, I get a yellow rectangle, which is like a warning next to it which as you can see says that a display will sleep before a screen saver starts, which apparently is a problem. So this was the first thing that you can modify in terms of your MacBook sleeping. So the next is if you come back and stay again in the system preferences, but this time click on a battery. You know, previously on the older versions of the Mac OS, we had the light bulb, which said energy under it, and you could modify some things from there. This time we only have the battery, so you're going to tap on that. And on the left side, you have usage history, battery, power adapter, and a schedule. So if you click on power adapter, this is what's going to happen when your MacBook, in case it, this is a MacBook, so when your MacBook is connected to a charger. So once it's plugged in, you can choose after how many minutes it is going to shut off or the display at least is going to turn off, in my case after 10 minutes. There are other options like prevent your Mac from automatically sleeping when the display is off. That means that even if your MacBook has a black screen, it still doesn't sleep technically and it still does whatever it was doing before. Then you have awake for network access, so it can get like notifications for, for iMessage and iCloud and stuff, and low power mode, and your Mac will manage performance to reduce energy usage. So these were the options, and this was the second thing that you need to check. And the third one is clicking on the battery section on the left, and again we have another slider which says the very same thing, turn this play off after and it's set to two minutes and that's the reason why my Mac MacBook in fact was shutting down or turning off really soon. Although the screensaver was set at 20 minutes and the power adapter was set at 10 but this slider is just two minutes and that's why you can see that my MacBook was shutting down or the screen went black after just two minutes. So these are the three things that you need to modify in order to keep track or manage when your MacBook goes to sleep, when the screen goes black and stuff, so that's definitely very useful to know about all of them. So when your iPhone is not plugged in, you go to here. When it's connected to power, you go to a power adapter and slide this. And if you would need the screensaver to show up even before you, uh, you reach, in our case, 10 minutes, then you go to screensaver and set it to something less than 10 minutes and then the screensaver is going to pop up. So that's definitely nice and um, yeah, this is how you can keep track of that and how you can modify, customize it. So definitely very useful to know about it. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really do hope that you liked it and found it valuable. Hopefully after this you know exactly what you're supposed to do, because I found a lot of other tutorials to be kind of confusing, and it's such a simple topic, but even Apple makes it a little bit confusing because it like separates these three things. So yeah, hopefully everything is clear now, and yeah, we can see each other in the future uploads. But we can only do that if you subscribe, so make sure to do that, and that just make sure that the future videos are going to pop up in your subscription box, as well as on the YouTube page. Thanks a lot for watching, and we can see each other in the future.